Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Channel Legends video. Good morning! So, we start of the week here. We've got this new event that's just dropped. It's going to be an event that everybody wants to take a look at at least. Okay, so this Path of Vengeance has dropped in. Let me just check if anything else new has dropped at the same time. We've got a bunch of these kind of like turn attack events. There's also some kind of like relatively easy to get half decent rewards going on as well. Uh, this turn attack, well, I'm not started yet, but I'm going to do it today to grab this soul. This is probably more of a whale type event. But there is another kind of turn attack coming in from Ice Golem. They're coming thick. They're coming fast. So, half of Vengeance then. Complete event objectives to earn vengeance coins and get rewards. Similar to the Path of Light and all the other paths that we've gone through. Um, there's lots of little side alleys going on right now. Five at the top. So literally um, a bunch of options. And it looks like they're all just straight down at this point. So straight down. There's a little bit of kind of spoken off down towards the bottom here. But ultimately, if you want to be getting the juiciest prize, which is pretty much unlocking the two then the three then the four then the five star soul on your r -tack. like this is actually huge to get a five star soul on someone is incredibly difficult to do okay it's in or you get completely lucky on a pull but generally it's incredibly difficult to do you can have someone on your wish list for the next two years and never see that champion so this is actually massive and obviously we've all got r -tack right now so you know, for that reason, it's, it's incredibly strong. The other thing which people forget about is on hard mode dungeons, the higher the star level you've got, the less damage you take from the bosses. So again, if you're using Artak for like solo type of strats or, or duo strats, this will make him way more powerful. I've already got a one star. I'm just seeing here, like I'm not seeing a one star anywhere. Is it assuming you've already got a one star or is that just because I've already got a one that show me this? Oh, no, look, it looks like it opens with a two and then you build from two. OK, so even if you didn't have a one star, you would get the same stuff going on that I've got here. Um, and again, just to give you some context, like in terms of blessings for me, can I sort by blessings? I don't think that I can, but just kind of take a look. I've bought a few packs of soul stones over the time, but I have farmed a lot of iron twins, right? So. And I've got most legendaries. So if I pulled a five or six star, they're on. And yeah, look, I've got some, but not tons. Yeah, what, it's a handful. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got nine in all the time that I've been doing this five star or above on champions that are actually decent. I guess, you know, you could take Domlock out of the mix. Raw Huntsman I don't use. The so two of them I don't use. Um, but the rest I do. So yeah, so like, it's a handful of champions that have got that level of soul. By the way, the red dot, still there. <sighs> Raid, sort out your red dots. Anyway, so we've got three of the, no, four of the paths here are locked. And, you know, no surprise, they're all behind. Um, <laughs> but hold on, where do we get the first? We've got a key already. We've got a key already. So we unlock our first path. I guess you just got to unlock this one because otherwise, what the hell are you doing? Unless you've already got, I suppose, a higher level soul and then you just unlock the path that you actually want. But you basically, you've got to go down, grab two, get the next key, go down, grab three, get the next key, grab four, get the key, grab five. And then it's only worth going further on if you actually want the avatar. This is not a champion down here. It's not a dupe. It's just an avatar. So I'm not too, too fussed about that. But it's a lot of points. Like if we're thinking about the total points here that are going to be required to get the five star soul and uh, how are we doing this? And, and there's an extra like, tw well, basically 32,000 points, which are not bad ones to have as well, honestly, because it's legendary tomes. Wow, it's a lot of points in this whole grid. And we're doing it through either summoning souls from soul stones. Um, oh, I was looking for points. Either summoning souls from soul stones or from gaining artifacts and upgrading them so it's not like a champion training one where you didn't just get it done easily so if you use an eternal soul stone that's seven and a half thousand they're hard to have the small ones are only worth a hundred and the medium ones 1500 so there's not going to be a lot of points earned in summoning soul stones for most people you're probably going to be talking about you know a few hundred unless they drop some actual good value packs so i've just been working out the points i mean to get all of this is 
incredibly high point scoring. So the minimum I'd say for anybody who wants to get their attack to a level of extra damage is just going down this one and grabbing your two star soul. Yeah, so you're going to be looking at 20,000 points just to get this two star soul, which, you know, if you're throwing that onto a, I'm just grabbing my calculator up. If you're, if you're doing that just through gaining items, that's obviously a ton, um, 40 points a pop. So you're talking about gaining 500 items, 500 runs. That's going to cost you 10,000 energy just to get one alley done. It's a ton. Obviously, as you're gaining items, you then gain silver and you gain some items you want to level up. And the leveling up process gives you a lot of points. So, you know, let's say one in every 20 runs, you actually find something you want to level. You get yourself another 780 points kind of getting in the mix there. I mean, it will massively in reduce the amount of runs you need to do. But again, it's going to be a very costly overall exercise because that's just the first one. The next one is basically the same amount of points again, another 20k. Then to get level 4, 23k. Then to get level 5, it's going to cost you another 57k. And then if you want the legendary tomes as well, that's an extra 32k. So total, if you were like trying to complete this, 152,000 points, which, uh, I mean, that's a lot. Yeah, if we were doing that just through gaining items, um, oh, hold on a minute, 152,000 points. Divide that by 40, that's going to be 3,800 items. That's going to be about 76,000 energy. Uh, but obviously, there will be a mix of other stuff going on. It's over seven days, so don't think I've got to do it all today. That's what a lot of people are like. Oh my God, how can I do any of this? And they're, they're assuming they need to do it in, on day one. This is a week long event. And as I say, I suggest you focus in on what's good for you. For me, I want the five star. Okay, I want it. It's going to be massive for my account. I use RTAC a lot. I use them in high level Hydra teams. Like this is big. Don't underestimate how much this is, like how much value you get from this on a champion that you will use a ton. But for example, on my free to play, I would not be looking anything outside of just grabbing this two star soul. And honestly, if you've already got a one star soul, you've then got to start weighing up, you know, how much, I mean, there's a five star chicken on the way, which is good, epic tomes on the way. There's nothing bad on the way. Yeah, so that's, that's one of the, the things to call out as a good thing. Great items on the way to the five star, uh, to the two star soul. And kind of nice items, honestly, on the way to the three star everywhere. Honestly, this is just a good grid, but it's bloody expensive. So you've got a week, I guess to, we're outside of like fusion times here, but the next fusion is probably going to come next week. You know, you've just got to weigh up what you want to do. But for me, I think this is actually a decent event. It's just bloody costly. So there you go, guys. I've been Hell Hades. The Path of Vengeance is live. I'll see you later.